very cautious about saying recovery. Let's put it this way, the trends changed from down to up, but I think uh, as we look ahead to 2013, there are a number of concerns about whether this will be sustained. The most obvious one is the uh, potential for the non-resolution of the fiscal cliff problem. We still have enormous uncertainty about what's happening in Europe. And the other issue is the degree to which China might have a soft landing in terms of uh, its economic recovery. Now, if all of those things turn out to have a positive resolution, then I would say that we're looking at 2013 to continue the modest recovery that we've seen in 2012. Well, I think it's very heterogeneous. And even within a metropolitan area like Chicago, we're seeing enormous variations from one neighborhood to the other. A lot of that is due to the collections and concentration of foreclosed properties. A lot of it is, I think, a function of the economy. Some downstate communities have enjoyed uh, rather good growth in terms of uh, employment. So we're seeing a more effective uh, uptick in housing prices, blooming to normal uh, being one. Other places like Champaign and Banner, it's relatively flat because employment has not really changed very much over the course of the year. So I think it's a function of how well the economy is doing in the local area, and that I think is having a very, very strong, a very pronounced uh, influence on housing prices and housing sales. Result of this robo signing challenge. Now that it's being cleared, we're seeing um, an incredible transformation in terms of the fact that the number of foreclosed properties that are clearing the market is much greater than the number of properties that are foreclosed that are entering the market. That is very good news. The other aspect which I think a lot of people have not taken into account, and this may seem to be not quite as positive as I'm trying to make it out, but I, I really think we can think of it as positive. I think the presence of these foreclosed properties is attracting a lot of people off the renting fence and into the market. Because they look at the combination of low interest rates, they look at the fact that rental prices now are higher than they were in 2007, and they look at the value of these properties and the prices that are probably somewhere 40 to 50 percent of what they were in 2007. That makes it attractive. Now, even at current sales pace, we're probably going to anticipate at least another two years where the foreclosed properties exert a significant impact on, on, on prices. But the faster we get them through, the faster our market will turn to a, a much more reasonable relationship between supply and demand.